You ever see an animal and just think, if God made that, he must have been drunk? Or have spent the last 13.7 billion years laughing his head off at some of the crazy stuff he just made up and threw down here? Except God didn't make all of that stuff in a week billions of years ago. It evolved to turn into some form of freakish and bizarre animal that looks like it belongs more on some distant planet in the Andromeda galaxy than here on Earth. From the fish that looks, well, it looks like it's doing something that is just wrong to the deer with a face like a vampire. Here's the 15 most bizarre animals that shouldn't exist. <sighs> Number 15. Bofin Fish How do you eat your spaghetti? Curl it around the fork like a sophisticated Italian, or suck it right up off the plate so it smacks tomato sauce all over your face as it flies in. Well, the bowfin fish seems to be more of the second school of thought when it comes to dinner table etiquette. Only this isn't spaghetti, but an eel that's practically the same size as the fish that's trying to eat it. The brave fish manages to get the eel the whole way down, until the eel decides to slam it into reverse and back himself right out of that fish gut. Talk about biting off more than you can chew. This fish ought to take a few pointers from more successful fishy predators. Kill your food before you eat it, and don't eat anything whole that is bigger than you. Unless you are a massive snake. Well, it seems like the eel got away from this one. By the way, all you guys at home watching this video on a Friday night, I already checked with the fish, and no, she is not single. In fact, she's happily married to a super rich and handsome eel now. Good for her. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or Slenderman will come from under your bed when you're sleeping. Number 14. Saber-toothed deer. We've all heard of the terrifying saber-toothed tiger, the enormous and ferocious predator with teeth like, well, like sabers, that our prehistoric ancestors had to fight off with nothing more than a few sticks and maybe some fire, or whatever other general caveman stuff was lying around back then. Lucky for us, they are now long extinct. But what about other saber-toothed animals? How about the saber-toothed deer? That's right, it's a deer, not a tiger, that is now terrorizing humanity. Well, maybe not terrorizing, since they are strict herbivores, but any animal that looks like it could drink the blood right out of your neck has to be considered at least a little creepy, no? These deer are native to Asia, and are known as musk deer, a more primitive form of deer than the ones we might more commonly see in Europe or North America. Instead of antlers, they have these crazy teeth they use for fighting. The musk produced by these deers is worth more than three times the value of gold by weight. And this means these crazy deer have been hunted to near extinction by poachers. Maybe enjoy them before they go the same way as the saber-toothed tiger. Number 13. Razor Clam Razor clams are a group of bivalve mollusks containing several species, which live in waters all over the world. They have their name due to the fact they resemble the cutthroat razors once used by barbers to shave their customers every morning. Or in the case of Sweeney Todd, murder them and pile up the bodies in a basement beneath the barber shop. It's a multi-tool in that respect. Anyway, these clams are much less dangerous than the demon barber of Fleet Street, but they certainly are bizarre. They can grow to 9 inches in length, among the bigger species, and they like to dig in beneath the sand, where they are well hidden and safe from most predators. Except humans who know just where to find them and fry them up with butter or add them to clam chowder, these are one of the most popular seafoods of all. With this Sweeney Todd talk just dumb, double check the filling if anyone offers you a clam pie though, especially if it is given to you by a London orphan in rags. Just stay away from Londoners altogether, is my advice. You never know who they're going to bake into a pie next. Number 12. 
Blue Glaucus The Blue Glaucus has a whole variety of cool names. The Sea Swallow, Blue Angel, Dragon Slug, Blue Dragon, Blue Sea Slug, and Blue Ocean Slug are just some of them. But having this many names should be a clue about how weird this animal is. We just can't decide what it actually is. It looks like a tiny bird from the planet Neptune, but it does in fact live in the ocean and only grows to around 3 centimeters long. They are actually a kind of sea slug, and they have some amazing features. They float on the surface of the water, using the surface tension to keep them there, and they are different colors front and back. One side is blue, and the other side is silver, offering different forms of camouflage from predators, both in and out of the water. There's not many species on Earth which prey on animals larger than itself, but the Glaucus is one. Its favorite prey is the Portuguese man o' war, a pretty damn bizarre animal itself, which is way bigger than the Glaucus. On top of that, the man o' war is highly venomous, and this little sea slug just eats up the venomous cells on the man o' war and stores them itself, turning them into an even more potent venom, which can be seriously nasty for anyone picking one up. Number 11. Ocean Sunfish It's a big, white, floating blob which likes to bask in the sun on the surface of the water near the Mediterranean, Atlantic, and Pacific coasts. No, it's not a vacationing American. That's just rude whoever said that. It's the ocean sunfish. This is in fact the biggest bony fish in the world, growing more than 14 feet tall and weighing 2.5 tons. They have huge dorsal fins and can be very curious about human swimmers, although swimmers have often freaked out at the sight of a massive white fin poking out of the water and swimming towards them, for obvious reasons. It's known as the swimming head, and although it is almost all head, it is not very much mouth. And sometimes small fishes. It has a kind of tiny beak and is totally harmless to humans. They can be spectacular at times and are known to breach up to 10 feet in the air, splashing back down hard in an attempt to shake off the many parasites they are prone to. Otherwise, they are pretty clumsy in the water, being big fat blobs and all. Unfortunately, their favorite food is jellyfish, meaning they now eat a whole lot of plastic bags by mistake which has resulted in a devastating and dramatic decline in their numbers in recent years. Can we save these weird floating giant heads? Maybe. Number 10. Sea Sapphire A sea sapphire is a copod. That's a little crustacean with long antennae, and they live pretty much wherever there's enough water to fit them in. They tend to chill between the surface and around 1,000 feet below. The most amazing thing about them is the flashing colors they produce. The ones near the surface tend to be yellow, orange, and red, while deeper down, they can be green, blue, violet, and magenta. It's not just down to different species, even close relatives can end up different colors. They are the ocean's equivalent to a bag of Skittles. Scientists believe the color changes might be useful for mating, but it remains something of a mystery. They swim in spirals, and this puts on a real colorful show, causing flashes of color. This also may serve as a distraction for predators, or maybe they are just hoping one day someone will throw them around a Christmas tree somewhere in the depths of the ocean. Does Neptune celebrate Christmas? Do they have enough turkey to go around? All big questions you can answer in the comments. Number 9. Aardwolf The Aardwolf. It's not an aardvark, it's not a wolf. It's not even related to aardvarks or wolves. So whoever named this one, you go sit in the dumb corner for a while. No more animal naming for you. Or for the guy who came up with the satanic leaf-tailed gecko, and yes, that really is a thing, but we're here to talk about aardwolves, not geckos or Satan. These cute little furry things are actually the smallest member of the hyena family, so maybe the confusion arose from the fact that these mini hyenas love to eat termites. Sit. Sit just like the aardvark does. To the casual observer, they seem to be scavengers like their bigger cousins, as they are often seen feasting on rotten carcasses of dead animals. But actually, they don't eat the meat, only the beetles and insects which are eating the rotten meat. So that's not disgusting at all, comparatively anyway, like little Reese's peanut butter cups. 
but with rotten flesh instead of peanut butter, and insect carcasses instead of chocolate shell. Like I said, cute little animals. Number 8. Secretary Bird The Secretary Bird has a pretty unusual name. Why would they call it that, you might ask? Well, it has its hair done up all neat is kind of formal in black and white over a curvy body, has super long legs, and has a pair of high heels that can tear a snake to pieces in seconds. This is one fantasy secretary with a deadly side. They are the birds of prey with the longest legs in the world. A lot of things to be done. Gathering material and preparing. And they kind of look like some sort of seductive dinosaur. Just look at that walk. They mainly live in Africa, on grasslands, savanna, and deserts. They are pretty big and pretty weird looking, an eagle's body with the legs of a crane. They don't much like flying. Why would you with legs like these? When they do get up in the air, they are majestic, with their legs trailing behind and widespread wings like an eagle. They hunt and chase prey along the ground, and will eat mice hares, tortoises, snakes, even venomous ones, lizards, crabs, scorpions, and all kinds of other stuff. They have no natural predators and are beneficial to humans, killing snakes and rats. A pretty cool bird. Number 7. Aye Aye Here's a seriously bizarre animal. It lives in the forests of Madagascar, and it kind of looks like someone just patched together a bunch of random animals to make this weird mutant-looking thing. Its teeth are like those of a rodent, always growing. It has a face like a weasel, the body of a monkey, the claws of a sloth. It's a mess, basically. In fact, it's a primate, which basically means it's the same as us. Take a good look at that face. That's your fam right there. They are the world's largest nocturnal primates, in fact. But there's evidently not a whole lot of competition, since they only measure just over a foot long. It also has super long freakish fingers, which it uses to tap on wood. This makes the insects come running, and then uses another freaky finger to scoop them up. In fact, it even has a kind of sixth finger, which some humans also have, but usually only in far-out farming communities in Wyoming. Madagascans believe the I.I. is evil, and its name must never be spoken. They also think it sneaks into houses and murders people by stabbing them with the long finger in the night. It's strange enough, maybe they're right. Number 6. Peacock Spider A venomous jumping spider with a peacock fan tail on its butt that likes to perform dance routines. How have I failed to notice one of these until now? And is it going to leap up and kill me at any moment? Well, you probably didn't notice it, as it is only 0.3 inches long. The arachnophobes among you will be glad to know. And with such a tiny mouth, it would stand no chance of puncturing human skin to deliver its venom, even if it did bite. This little spider is much more of a menace to things like crickets and other spiders which hunt them. Unlike a lot of spiders, it does not build webs and sits and waits. This is a go-getter spider, and it hunts just like a lion, tackling prey three times its own size and tearing it to pieces as the venom does its work. But they are really lovers, not fighters, and their mating rituals are a real spectacle. The males have a peacock fan on their butts and love to dance and drum on the ground, which triggers receptors in the legs of the female, putting them in the mood, it seems. Number 5. Streaked Tenrec Here's another animal that looks like a mixtape of other animals. Shrew, badger, hedgehog, porcupine thing is what I might have called it, but instead it's known as the lowland streaked Tenrec. It lives in Madagascar with a load of other bizarre animals, so being able to stand out over there takes some effort. They can grow up to 6 inches in length and have spikes, quills, and stripes down their bodies. These are a warning to predators. Animal language for eat me and you will live to regret it because I'm basically a walking cactus. They are up day and night on the hunt for their favorite food which is earthworms. And when they are hungry, they stamp on the ground with their front paws, which makes worms come up to the surface. The quills are not only for defense, they are also communication devices, as rubbing them together produces high-frequency sound, which can serve to warn other tenrecs about predators. They are the only mammals known to perform this rubbing together of body parts to make a sound. This is called stridulation, and is more common in insects, like cicadas and snakes like the rattlesnake. 
Number 4. Forget Bert If you happen to live near the coast in Mexico, the Caribbean, or the southern US, you may have looked up over your head at the beach only to see a massive pterodactyl-like creature with a bloated red pouch under its throat and wondered what kind of Jumanji madness was going on nearby. But that would just be the magnificent frigate bird. That's really its name, Magnificent. And when they fly, you will see why. Soaring majestically above the waves, these birds are known as the pirates of the air, as their main hunting technique is to steal food from others. A little like those other notorious seabirds, the seagulls, and how they behave with the sandwiches of British people. They can live up to 20 years, which is pretty long for a bird, and young birds practice their mugging skills on one another, using sticks. They fly off with a stick, then bother each other until the stick is dropped, and then the pirate bird will pick it up, learning the technique before trying it out on innocent other birds. If birds were people, then prisons would probably be full of frigate birds, but that's just the way they are, I guess. Number 3. Jerboa Here's a cute-looking creature, but is it a gerbil or some kind of tiny kangaroo? It's a hopping rodent known as a gerboa, and it has very long back legs with very short front legs, moving around just like a kangaroo in fact. And they live in deserts ranging from North Africa to Northern China. Due to their desert lifestyle, gerboas don't drink water, getting all the moisture they need from the food they eat. <laughs> which is mainly plants and insects. They can move pretty fast, up to 16 miles per hour, and they hop in a crazy zigzag motion, which confuses any potential predators. There's actually 31 species of gerboa, including this bizarre-looking long-eared version, which is like some kind of elephant with fur. These were only caught on film for the first time in 2007, so they are pretty rare, probably because they can hear you and all your camera equipment coming from 10 miles away. Those ears are so big, it looks almost as though they could take off and fly with them. Number 2. Platypus Time for a classic bizarre animal, the duck billed platypus. When this animal was first sent back to Europe for classification, scientists in London thought that the stuffed creature was a hoax, put together from a bunch of other random animals as a kind of joke. A tail like a beaver, a body like an otter, and a face and feet like a duck. On top of all that, it's a mammal that lays eggs and is even venomous. So a nip from one of the venomous spurs the males have on their ankles can result in excruciating pain for anyone unlucky enough to make an enemy out of a platypus. They are about 20 inches long, including the tail, and weigh around 3 pounds. But fossil records show that ancient platypuses were more than 3 feet long. They live in Australia, along with a lot of other weird things, where they hang around bodies of water doing their thing, not making any sense. The British first called them duck moles, which makes sense, platypus is Greek for flatfoot, which is about 17th on the list of things you first notice about this animal, but hey. Number 1. Shoebell did you know that birds are the direct descendants of the dinosaurs? It's true, and they are a living connection to a world that died 65 million years ago, or with the release of Jurassic Park 3, depending on how you look at it. One thing that the classic Jurassic Park movie maybe got wrong was that it showed T-Rex and Velociraptor as being scaly. Actually, they may have had feathers, just like birds. And they had hollow, low-density bones, which helped them grow so big, but also led to them having the right stuff to take to the air. Anyway, this might all be hard to believe if you are looking at a local pigeon, but take one look at the shoe bell and you will see how close this thing is to the dinosaurs right away. These giant birds live in Uganda and surrounding regions and have a shoe for a face. For a long time, they were believed to be a kind of stork, but it turns out they belong to the pelican family. Either way, this 5-5 monster dinosaur bird is one bizarre looking creature. That's all for this video. How about those bizarre animals? What's the most bizarre animal you've ever seen? How do you think these creatures ended up evolving this way? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.